All right, my high tech video recording for today is a cup holder on the windowsill because I still haven't gotten around to getting anything to hold my camera or my phone because I'm super high tech. So I just wanted to kind of circle back on the Escalante. Uh, when I originally did the review, I hadn't put it through too many of the paces. I was trying to get it for the 1775K and work for that. It was amazing. It handled the fire roads very smoothly, kind of felt like I was running on little marshmallows. It was quick and responsive on the road. I've done my fastest 5K in a very long time in these, and um, I've actually probably abused them more than you're meant to. I've seen some reviews that said that they're not for, they're not for marathon marathons. I've actually taken them beyond that. I've taken them on a 41 mile uh, training run. And since since then, they've they've been on quite a few miles. I didn't track super accurately with these. Um, I should have. These are the pair that I had in April, and you can see it, they look pretty good. They're a little dirty because I have I'm taking them on trail like I shouldn't have, but it was impulsive trail. And um, I've got a little bit of hole, little hole here. They look pretty good. I mean, I've had ultras where a lot worse, a lot quicker. Uh, the, the thing that went on them first, though, uh, I started finding myself, my foot was shifting in, I was starting to pronate, and you can see that the foam is super collapsy. Look at that. It's great for traveling. You just pack your shoes like this. But this is actually what they're supposed to be like, and the, you can see the midfoot. It's just, I, I, I flattened them. I, I got my money's worth for sure. Uh, I ended up trying the Intuition 4, which was not bad, but I wasn't getting a secure fit in my heel. And the Torin 3.0, which is still not the 2. Please bring back the 2. I'm imploring you, Ultra. I love the 2. The 3 wasn't as bad as the 2.5. That's about all I can say about it. It wasn't as bad as the 2.5. So I'm hoping that they stick with the good thing with the, the Escalante and, and don't mess with it, please. Please, let me let me have the Escalantes. Um, it's not a super cushioned shoe. However, I run more minimalist on trails. I live in my Carson footwear shoes and those are like a minimalistic zero drop. So switching between the Escalante and the Carson's for me felt pretty much natural. I would love if they had a shoe like this with a little bit more cushion, just a smidge, like just a little bit for when I'm doing super long runs on road. Um, I'm currently training for my first 100 miler, which sounds really scary when you say it out loud. Uh, so I'm going to be logging lots of miles and I'm pretty sure I'll be going through a couple of these this year. I will be going through all the colors because, you know, purple's pretty, but blue will be next because it goes with the Ragnar, um, Ragnars that we're doing in, in December, and I'm all about matching my shoes to my outfits because, yeah. So Escalante, uh, again, I've got a forefront issue. I've got double bunions. This, very comfy, nice secure through the midfoot, and it keeps my heel nice and tight. Ah, one thing though, I do not have my lace like this. I actually had to take this lace out here and then lace them up here. That way I had a tighter fit and enough lace to actually make a knot because they have kind of a, a shorter shoelace. So if you're finding that you can't get your foot nice and secure, drop off that second lace and just thread it through here and you'll be able to get a little extra room with the, um, the laces. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoy these shoes as much as I do. Again, Ultra 2.0, please, please bring the Torrent 2.0s back. Thanks, bye.